Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and today I'm going to go over my top 10 favorite body weight exercises that can translate to the dodgeball court. During this time of quarantine, not everyone has access to a gym and not everyone has access to any equipment. These exercises are perfect because there's no equipment necessary. So let's jump right into it. So the first exercise on the list is the push-up, but not just any push-up. Three of my favorite variations, the inchworm push-up, the pike push-up, and the diamond push-up. These three push-ups hit a wide range of muscle groups and also a variety of ranges of motion. They're perfect for building overall upper body strength. The inchworm hits full body, the diamond is a little more focused on your triceps but you're still getting your chest involved, and the pike push-up is a more focused shoulder exercise. Let me demonstrate those for you now. So starting with the inchworm push-up, you're gonna start, you reach down to your toes and slowly step your hands out. You're not trying to do this fast, you're trying to do this controlled. And then when you get to a push-up position, do a push-up, and then you walk your way back. Again, you wanna do this slow and controlled, it's not about doing it quickly. Next push-up is the pike push-up. This is gonna really emphasize your shoulders and your triceps. So you're gonna start, you're gonna go into a V shape, kind of like this, and your elbows are actually going out on this one, instead of like a normal push-up. And you're gonna drop your arms and push up. And you kind of lean your lower body, so your head should almost touch the ground. And my last favorite push-up variation is the diamond push-up. So as most of you know, your hands would be in a diamond position, and then same sort of form as a regular push-up, and down. Now this is a considered a more advanced push-up, so I definitely would start with the inchworm and work your way up. Okay, so my second favorite exercise is the tuck jump. And this one is great just for overall explosiveness. And then I'm also gonna show a variation on that more advanced knee jump to a tuck jump. So the tuck jump is pretty simple. You come down and when you jump, you're pulling your knees up into your chest. So, so then the more advanced one would be the knee jump. So to do a knee jump, you're gonna swing your arms forward and land on your feet into a tuck jump. So let's do that fast. My third favorite exercise is a lunge. What I like about this is it isolates each leg separately and it's great for stability and just overall strength building purposes. And so this one is a pretty basic one a lot of people know, but step out, bend down, and push back up. You do it with each leg. You can also do it where you bring your arms into it. My fourth favorite exercise is a burpee. This one is perfect because in dodgeball, you need to be able to get up quick. You tend to slide on the ground, drop to your knees, and so you wanna be able to pop yourself back up and get in a ready position as quickly as possible. I'm gonna take my glasses off for this one. Cool, so you start out, you do a jump, and then you drop to the ground and I like to kind of touch my chest and then you pop yourself back up and jump to finish it off. So let's do that fast. So my number five favorite body weight exercise is the spine back press. Now, a lot of people don't have access to a pull-up bar or a good chair to do an inverted row and so it can be really hard to exercise the back through just body weight. So this one is perfect. To do and if you have a hardwood floor you can always put towels down on your elbows so let me demonstrate this one but for this one it's really important to keep your spine neutral and your core disengaged so that your back is doing all the work so get your feet in a comfortable position and you put your elbows on the ground you lay flat and then you're gonna push your back up and this is great because it hits pretty much every back muscle Okay, so the number six exercise is a slightly more advanced variation of a squat. Everyone knows how to do a squat. And this is called a single leg quick load. And what this is great for is just overall balance and also acceleration, which if you're one of the runners at the start of the game is crucial to be able to get off the line fast and get to the balls. So to do this exercise, you're gonna start with one leg and your other leg knee bent at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna have your opposite hand up it's really important you drive your arms as you 
do this movement. So you're gonna bring your leg back and forward. So if we do that fast, and you wanna try and stay in the same general spot, which is why it's also good for balance. And so my seventh favorite body weight exercise is the lateral jump. And we're gonna add a little variation to this where we're gonna try and hold our position when we do the landing. This is perfect for lateral movements, which in dodgeball you're doing a lot of. So as you know, with a normal lateral jump, you're gonna be jumping to the side, which is great for your abductors. But to make this movement a little more difficult, we're gonna add a balance element. So when you jump to the side, you're gonna pull your opposite leg up and bring your arm up for like a sprinting pose. So let's demonstrate this. And it's all about the control. It's not about how far you're getting. You wanna make sure you don't fall over. You wanna stay balanced. For the number eight exercise, you do need something to pick up off the ground though. I wouldn't count this as equipment because you can use any household item like a cup or a ball. So it's basically called a balanced pickup and it's like it says, working on your balance. So let me demonstrate it. So this is a dodgeball channel. So I'm gonna be using a dodgeball to help me demonstrate this one. So you're gonna start by standing with your knee up and you're gonna bend over and place your object on the ground and come back up and then go and pick it up again. And what's great about this is you can keep putting it in different places and forcing you to balance in different positions. For number nine, we couldn't do a body weight list without talking about the abs. And one of my favorite ab exercises is the reach around side plank. This one's great because it introduces multiple planes of motion and not just a simple side plank hold. Okay, for this one, you're gonna start out in a normal side plank position, arm up, and once you get that nice balance point, you're gonna reach around and come back up. And you wanna do this slow and controlled. It's not about being fast. So number 10, last but not least, we have the glute bridge, but more specifically, the single leg glute bridge. What I like about single leg exercises is that you always have a stronger side, right? You don't want your weaker side to get even weaker. So you wanna force it to get stronger by isolating the side and doing single leg exercises. And the glute bridge is just a great foundational strength training exercise for your lower body. Okay, so you're gonna lay flat on the ground, your back's touching and your legs just comfortably bent in front of you. And then I'm gonna lift my leg, try and keep it straight. And then you're gonna push with your left leg. So, and I like to hold it for a second, make it a little harder. So that was my top 10 favorite bodyweight exercises that translate to dodgeball. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this video a like subscribe, and turn on that notification bell because I'll be posting videos weekly. Thanks and have a great day.